Hello and welcome to this first look mod video. Today we're going to be fortunate enough to have an early access look at the UK style calf barn by MS Modern. So let's jump in, let's go. So in construction mode under animals, cows, if we scroll down to the bottom, we have the calf barn. It holds 25 animals, costs 60,000 and has an upkeep of 50. We'll give it a little twist and we shall pop it down on the top of the field just like so so let's get down and have a little look now i was fortunate enough to help with some of the testing of this one um, i have shared some screenshots around so you may have uh, seen this one i've also got it on my one of my stream series we had a little look at it there as well as you can see it has <laughs> lots of gate i love all these gates this is a beautiful shed. I'm really liking this. I'm really liking this. All of these external gateways open so you can access the barn any which way you wish. Have it really open. Full access to the barn. The internal gates don't. They are for feeding. They stay as they are. As you can see, we've got our feed trigger there. We'll have a little uh, look around the outside as well. So, beautiful textures. Again, I like the, the old wood. I like that it's used and not brand new and shiny. Concrete slabs. Got our slurry point here. Where we can collect our slurry. Around the back, the reinforced beams. We've got the, uh, the netting as well. Nice and airy in there. Good airflow. We do have a milk source here, so they can be milked. You can put larger animals in there. You don't have to put calves in there. You can put you know, a couple of cows in there quite comfortably. That would still work. But it is designed to be sort of a calf rearing shed. Maybe a mother and calf, a couple of mothers and calves in there. But really, really nice. You can produce manure. Man manure? You can produce manure. Think about the cows. You can produce manure. But you'll need to put down a uh, manure silo. But we have um, water that is uh, pumped in as well. So that's automated. Our animal trigger is down here. Now, it allows for 20 animals, as you can see. When we purchase them, I'll buy all 20. Oh, 25, sorry. We'll buy all 25 calves. When we pop them in, you'll notice that visually we get 10. Now, initially, this was 150 capacity with a visualization of 20. And whether it was calves or heifers or cows, it just looked cramped with 20 in there. It looked crazy. Um, so I sort of advised on lowering the visual number and possibly the actual capacity to, to something maybe slightly more realistic, um, just because that's how I play. And, uh, once you start getting the animals clipping, you can start getting problems with it. But as you can see, they're, they're all in there lovely. Um, on the one that I'm using at the minute, we have uh, seven calves and they're all in there roaming around. Absolutely beautiful. But they're in there happy. They'll, they'll eventually get moving about. I, I personally found that once there was more than ten, they didn't really move much either. They sort of just start to clip each other. So let's get some feed and um, we'll make sure everything works. So to start with, let's check our bales. We do have some convenient bales over here that we'll just carry over. Now the hay bales, they should go in and add to the feed. Straw bales do not go in as bedding. I'll just demonstrate. If I say that, that might have been updated since uh, the last version, so you never know. That's why we look. Even though we've tested, things change. So if I pop that down, bale doesn't go in for bedding, you have to shred for bedding. We'll bring that out of the way. Up this on the farm today, we have our 135. Get some feed in there. So trigger's pretty simple once you come in, unload. We'll get that in there for them. Spread that out a little bit. 
You see that goes in there really nice. So let's go get some straw for them. And we're going to go for a convenience fill for this one. Normally I would use the straw blower. But since we've cut this to hand, we've just popped some loose straw in here. And as you can see, we can fill in the straw. And we'll put double amounts in. Because you only seem to see um, straw bedding in these sheds once it hits a certain capacity. So we'll fill it right up. And as you can see now, we've two lots of uh, straw in there. The bedding is starting to come through. So we can see that we've got our straw bedding in there for our calves. We can top that up later. That's pretty much it. That is the calf barn by MS Modern. And I think this is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the one that Clarkson has, the barn that he uses. Uh, I don't think his is the, the concrete separation. It might have. I'm not sure. But I know that he was able to modular that and separate different animals they had storage and stuff in there as well but i think this is absolutely brilliant i, I love that there's all these gates you could just no matter the size of your farm like if, if you've got a narrow area you can back on in there and, and pull your feed in or you can go in with um, a bale shredder uh, front on fork sort of job and get in there and uh, shred your bale and fit your hay in or, or feed them with a bucket i really like that extra storage down the side easy hit triggers really nice it looks absolutely beautiful the uh, the model ms moderns modeling has come along so much it looks really good not that it wasn't good before but it, you know under the tutelage of lancy boy recently and you can tell it's just really really nice i really like this hopefully you guys do too and if you do check it out and give it a download when it comes out support the modder download off mod hub Hopefully you've enjoyed the video as well. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.